Brought to you by wikivd.com Maureen O'Sullivan Maureen Paula O'Sullivan was an Irish actress best known for playing Jane in the Tarzan series of films starring Johnny Weissmuller. Early Life O'Sullivan was born in Boyle County, Roscommon, Ireland in 1911, the daughter of Evangeline Mary Eva Lovett and Charles Joseph O'Sullivan. An officer in the Connaught Rangers who served in World War I, Maureen returned to Boyle in 1988 to be honored by the town. She was of Irish, English and Scottish ancestry. She attended a convent school in Dublin, then the Convent of the Sacred Heart at Roehampton, England. One of her classmates there was Vivian Mary Hartley, future Academy Award-winning actress Vivian Lee. After attending finishing school in France, O'Sullivan returned to Dublin to work with the poor. Film career O'Sullivan's film career began when she met motion picture director Frank Borsage who was doing location filming on song Oh My Heart for 20th Century Fox. He suggested she take a screen test. She didn't want a part in the movie, which starred Irish tenor John McCormack. She traveled to the United States to completed the movie in Hollywood. O'Sullivan appeared in six movies at Fox then made three more at other movie studios. In 1932 she signed a contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. After several roles there and at other movie studios she was chosen by Irving Thalberg to appear as Jane Parker in Tarzan the Ape Man opposite co-star Johnny Weissmuller. She was one of the more popular Anjanews at MGM throughout the 1930s and appeared in a number of other productions with various stars. In all, O'Sullivan played Jane in six features between 1932 and 1942. She starred with William Powell and Myrna Loy in The Thin Man and played Kitty in Anna Karenina with Greta Garbo, Frederick March and Basil Rathbone. After co-starring with the Marx Brothers in A Day at the Races, she appeared as Molly Beaumont in A Yank at Oxford which was written partly by F. Scott Fitzgerald. At her request he rewrote her part to give it substance and novelty. She played another Jane in Pride and Prejudice with Laurence Olivier and Greer Garson, and supported Anne Sothern in Maisie Was a Lady. After appearing in Tarzan's New York Adventure, O'Sullivan asked MGM to release her from her contract so she could care for her husband who had just left the Navy with typhoid. She retreated from show business, devoting her time to her family. In 1948 she reappeared on the screen in The Big Clock directed by her husband for Paramount Pictures. She continued to appear occasionally in her husband's movies and on television. However, by 1960 she believed she had permanently retired. In 1958 Pharaohs, Anne O'Sullivan's eldest son Michael died in a plane crash in California. Actor Pat O'Brien encouraged her to take a part in summer stock, and the play A Room Full of Roses opened in 1961. That led to another play Never Too Late, in which she co-starred with Paul Ford in what was her Broadway debut. Shortly after it opened on Broadway, John Farrow died of a heart attack. O'Sullivan stuck with acting after Farrow's death. She was the Today Girl for NBC for a while, then made the movie version of Never Too Late for Warner Brothers. She was also an executive director of a bridal consulting service, Wedaket International. In June and July 1972, O'Sullivan was in Denver, Colorado to star in the Illich Theatre production of Butterflies Are Free with Karen Grassle and Brandon De Wilder. The show ended on July 1, 1972. Five days later while still in Denver, De Wilder was killed in a motor vehicle accident when her daughter actress Mia Farrow became involved with Woody Allen both professionally and romantically she appeared in Hannah and her sisters playing Farrow's mother.
She had roles in Peggy Sue Got Married, and the science fiction oddity Stranded. Mia Farrow named one of her own sons Ronan O'Sullivan Farrow for her mother. In 1994 she appeared with Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers in Heart to Heart, Home is Where the Heart Is, a feature-length made-for-TV movie with the wealthy husband and wife Dean, from the popular weekly detective series Heart to Heart. Personal Life O'Sullivan's first husband was the Australian-American writer award-winning director and Catholic convert John Villiers Farrow. From 12 September 1936 until his death on 28 January 1963, she and Farrow were the parents of seven children, Michael Damien Patrick Joseph, Maria de Lourdes Villiers, John Charles Prudence Farrow, Stephanie Farrow and Teresa Magdalena. Tisa Farrow, a widow for 20 years, O'Sullivan was married to her second husband, James Cushing, from the 22nd of August 1983 until her death in 1998. Maureen O'Sullivan became a U.S. citizen on October 22, 1947, Los Angeles, California. Death. Maureen O'Sullivan died in Scottsdale, Arizona of complications from heart surgery on 23 June 1998. At age 87, O'Sullivan is buried at Most Holy Redeemer Cemetery, Niskayuna, New York, Mr. Cushing's hometown. She is survived by five of her children, 32 grandchildren and 13 great-grandchildren. Michael, her oldest son, was killed at age 19 in a plane crash in 1958. Her son Patrick Villiers Farrow, a sculptor piece and environmental activist, committed suicide in 2009. Legacy O'Sullivan has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6541 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood facing the star of Johnny Weissmuller. A black plaque marks her home on Main Street in Boyle, County Roscommon, Ireland. Just around the corner from there opposite King House is a tree, ceremonially planted by O'Sullivan to mark her return to her birthplace. In 1982, O'Sullivan was awarded the George Eastman Award, given by George Eastman House, for distinguished contribution to the art of film. Brought to you by wikivd.com Would you like to know more?